What up, y'all? I'm back with another video, and I'm here to do the 30-second installment of my Albums I Recommend series. And I have 10 projects per usual, and let's go ahead and get right into it. The first project, I'm going to start at the bottom of the list, with XP the Marksman, Diamante de la Madre. I've been up on XP Marksman for about, I'd say, I want to say five years, but at least four, I know that. Uh, underground hip-hop artist. It's been holding it down since before 2020, at least for me. And uh, it's just a continuation. This might be, this might not be the first time he's ever made an album to recommend series, uh, but definitely check him out if you're into underground hip hop. Uh, and you know who I'm talking about, Rock Marciano, uh, guys like, shoot, Fly Anakin, Uncle John, guys like that, mainstays, AJ Swade, like guys in that realm. The next project is an EP from Earth Gang entitled Rest in Peace Human Art. Uh, it's them in Spillage Village, which I think that's like they're all under Rock Nation. Dreamville, which is under Rock Nation. Right? I don't know. But yeah, um, yeah, they're Dreamville. It's a, D it's a Dreamville project. And it goes, it reminds me of those EPs. Like there was one year, this is before the pandemic, where Earth Gang released two EPs in one year and they were both really good. I really fucked with them. And this is a continuation of them just, at least for me, dropping dope EPs. Um, <laughs> freaking, what was, what was the track, If I Die Today? Yeah, that track. It freaking goes. I remember seeing Denzel Curry in the music video for it. Where, uh, Well, I'm not going to uh, just spoil that if you haven't seen it, but I'm not even going to say more if you haven't seen it. The next project, Seven Ave and DJ Green Lantern, The Genius Tape. DJ Green Lantern, freaking legend in hip-hop. You already know. If you don't know, just know that he's a legend. Definitely check this project out. But other projects of his, he's been in it for minutes, minutes. <laughs> and 7 Av, another underground artist who's been on the come up. What is she 7 Av the genius? Does she take the genius part off? She's a, a woman. I'm not going to call her a, that cringe word. That, I'm not going to say that. But she's an MC. She's an MC. Not what starts with the F and ends with MC. She... <laughs> That shit. But yeah, seven now she freaking goes. Like if you like like Ciroc, if you like Amari Caesar, or it's Armani Caesar, if you like how can I blank on my girl's name? Freaking uh she's with ransom in them. Ah freaking uh Shay. If you like Shay, uh freaking uh what is her name? Shay Noor. Yeah, if you like Shay Noor, definitely yeah, hell yeah. Artists like that, definitely check her out. The next project, <laughs> Quazel by Zaloopers and Quite a Diesel. Okay, I tweeted not too long ago that <laughs> Zaloopers, Chris Crack, Sauce Walker, and uh, Chris Crack, Zaloopers, Sauce Walker, and I'm blanking on the. Oh, Danny Brown. I tweeted that they were the four funniest dudes on the mic right now. And yeah, Zaloopers, he, he's funny as hell. Uh, I think I knew about him before. Uh, I saw him on Earl's project last year, and there I didn't really pick up on him being funny. I just knew that he was different on the mic as, like, as far as how he flowed, and <laughs> this is a continuation of him just being funny um, and going hard on the mic. Like There was a project last year that he dropped where I was like, Beach really went hard on that project than it did on this one, and shout out to Quaddy Diesel. This is my introduction to him, I believe. And yeah, he's got some dope beats. And the loopers, he got the ear for him. So shout out to both of them. The next project is Purge by Godflesh. Godflesh is an industrial metal band that's been out since like the 80s, like the early 80s. And yeah, this is a dope project from them. If you're into industrial metal, I definitely recommend that you check it out. And the next project, Childish Major, First Lady, EP. This is like a love tape, and what can, what can I say? It just goes. Uh, it goes in a way that I that I expect the love tape to go, but at the same time, not expect the love tape to go. So it makes it pretty unique in that sense. Next project. Fly Anakin, Skinamax Side B. This is uh, part two of the Skinamax, I guess, project. It's just two, two CDs, two different tapes. One project. Um, it goes harder than Side A, I'm not going to lie. Even though Side A does have... Uh, what's the track by Fly from this year? Um, Be Rooted for Tony. What's the track? 
No, 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 no. It's not Frank. It's uh, that's the title of the project. It was Blicky Blop. Heck yeah. Well, no, it wasn't on. It was on Skin and Max, but I thought I saw it on Frank before. I feel like that track, like he released it on two different projects. That's not uncommon. <clears throat> Um, but it was a single, I remember. And yeah, Blicky Blop. Um, yeah, I fuck with Side B more. Even though I have, like, more tracks that I see on Spotify. Like, I got six likes on Side A. And actually, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I got six, six likes on Side A and five on Side B. But I do remember, like, Side B is just more memorable for me. Even though Blicky Blop is the most memorable of all of them. Lucky Bob. So, the next project, Camouflage Monk with Al Roker. This is a very good instrumental hip hop album. If you're into like soul hop, grimy shit as well, though, definitely check this project out. That's really all I can say about it. Just a dope instrumental tape. Next project, AJ Swade with Indica Music. This dropped la not last year, but very beginning of January of this year. The beginning, I repeat myself, but um. Yeah, I feel like I've seen this cover before. Like, is this a re-release? I feel like I've seen Suede with this cover before, or he has a project uh, with a very similar cover, or it's like the same cover but from a different angle, or it's like the different. It's a different uh, picture of the same piece of artwork. I don't know. I swear I've seen this freaking t uh, cover before from AJ, and like I've seen like he's even dropped a project called not Indica Music, but it had Indica in it. Maybe Indica was in a previous tape. I don't know. But uh, it goes. It goes. <laughs> AJ Swade, you heard me mention him just a little bit earlier. In the same realm as guys like XP Marksman and the like uh, for underground hip-hop artists. AJ coming up uh, more and faster. It seems like his star is rising more from what I see. Like, like really. Um, and last but not least, <laughs> Slum Thug with Midlife Crisis. If you know me, like, early days of this channel, know me personally, you know I fuck with Slim Thug. I fuck with Slim Thug for the longest. I remember when he blew up with Mike Jones on Still Tipping back in the mid two thousands, like like oh four, oh five. I was in second grade. I remember that. And yeah, freaking, he's back. Um, his career's gone better than, the, than that dude who was on the track, whose track it was. Him and Paul Wall have had a better career, but that's not what this is about. Check up, check out Midlife Crisis by Slim Thug. This is a very dope project from him. Which I'm not, I can't really say I'm surprised. It's just one of the dopest I've heard probably since he dropped American King, which was a part of the Hog Life series, I want to say. It was like the last album of the Hog Life series. Um, but yeah, definitely check this project out. Um, it don't sound like Slim going through a midlife crisis. Not when you hear that beat selection, not when you hear him on the mic. It's like, it's classic Slim, one of those distinct voices. You know it's him when you hear it, if you know who he is. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all. That's all it's in. If you've heard any of these projects, let me know what you think about them in the comment section below and what you think, well, not about my reviews on them, but just let me know what you think about them. Uh, definitely let me know uh, what projects you think I should check out in the comment section as well. And uh, hit the like button, you know, share. If you like the video, hit the like button. I don't know why I said that for share, but share. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and like the content that you see. Check the description. There are Links to connect with me further down there. I need to actually edit that because I only use so many of those links. <laughs> I have so many of those platforms. That's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.